Hey YouTube, what's up, Zestling? So today I'm gonna be showing you um, how to solve the what since 1980 the world's the most people called the world's most bullshit object ever. So, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you how to solve the Rubik's cube. Now, if you guys um are viewing this and very impatient, this video will take up this at least 16 minutes. This video isn't for you. If you're impatient, then this video and all other videos aren't for you. But if you're patient, welcome to the tutorial. So. Let's just start off with some basics. Of you need to know the structure of your of your Rubik's cube. So this piece right here, and this piece, and all the other center of the pieces, as you can see in the core, do not move. All they do is spin to move all the other cubelets. They do not move. This is a corner piece. It consists of three colors. In this case, white, blue, red. This is the edge piece. It consists of two colors, white and blue. Now I'm going to be showing you some basic moves of when you're looking at your Rubik's Cube, depending on which face it can be blue or orange. Now, imagine the blue is facing you. In this case, obviously, it's facing the camera. Moving this is front as you're moving it clockwise. Moving it like this is front inverted, which is moving it counterclockwise. Same thing for here, this will be front, front inverted, and this is right. This is right inverted. This is left. Oh shit. This is left inverted. This is top. I mean, yeah, this is top. This is top inverted. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you get the point. Now we're not going to use bottom in this tutorial, so you don't got to worry about bottom. Now we're just going to go mix the cube up because you need to start by mixing that up. And I already wasted two minutes of this video explaining everything. It's all right. That's how the tutorials are. And I think. Uh, it's already good and mixed up. Alright. So, I think this is good enough, right? Now we're going to start with the first step. Now, remember, this is the beginner's method. As for the be beginner, also known as you, we're going to solve, we're going to start with the green cross. So we're ignoring this color, this color, this color, this color. color. All four corner pieces. This, these two, and these two. We're focused on this, this, this and this. As you know, that doesn't move again. And um, we're going to solve the cross. Now, you can't just sort of solve the cross and be like, oh, green, but red and yellow, it has to match to its corresponding color. In this case, green, green, red, red, green, green, yellow, yellow, and all around, and you get the point. So the yellow is on the opposite side. So we're going to go move that down, spin it, until it's on its right side, spin it back, and voila, I preserved the red one and you got the yellow one. Just like you're normally solving a cube. In this case, you have them placed correctly but not flipped correctly. In order to fix this, you need to turn it either way, doesn't matter. Turn it like this, and as you see, voila, it's faced up, move it, and there you go. So now, we got one more left. Uh, we got the white left. In this case, it's going to be uh, flipped incorrectly. Move it down, back up, and there you go. You got your cross. Green, green, white, white, green, red. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> green, green, orange, orange, white, white, green, green, red, red, green, green, and yeah, you get the point. So now we're going to solve the corner pieces now. In this case, as you see, we're not going to focus on green because we're already solving green. We know that. White, white, Orange, orange. It needs to match its corresponding color. Diagonal, diagonal, and matches up with that. So you get the point. Just solve it as you're normally solving one side. So this is yellow, red. Red's right there. Yellow's right there. And just like we're normally solving it, bam, it's right there. And just do that with all the pieces. In this case, you have one that's placed correctly but not flipped correctly. What you're going to do is move it up like that, and now it's on the bottom, on the opposite side. You see this missing piece right here? 
turn it to that actual row, spin it, bring it down, and voila, there you go. And then we're going to go fix it. And congratulations, you have solved the first color, but not just the first color, the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. So now you know you're going to need to solve the edge pieces of the second layer. All the edge pieces, which is two colors with no blue in it. Do not solve any of them with the blue in it. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This one's already placed correctly, so white and orange get that. So how do we do this slink? Well, as you see, we have a T right here. So let's say that yellow is right there. We're going to match it up with whatever color side of that is. And sorry for the background noise. It's really raining. I don't know why. Uh, Florida sucks. So, I see we got our T. Now, if this was uh, orange, bring your orange. So, whatever color is on the bottom, which is or edge pieces, two colors, matters if it goes to this side or this side. If this, in this case, if this was red, it would go to this side, the right side. Since it's orange, it goes on this side. So, you spin it the opposite direction where it's supposed to go, which is the left side. Bring it down on where it's supposed to go. Bring that turn back. Bring that back up. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked up my green. So just fix it as you're normally going to fix it, just like that, and voila, magic happens, there you go. So just do that for all of them. So we got red and yellow, and yellow goes right, so it goes on this side, red, yellow, if it was white, it goes on this side. Spin it the opposite direction, bring it down where it's supposed to go, um, bring that turn back, bring that back up, ah, fuck, fucked up my green, fix it, there you go. So do that for all of them. Now in this case, um, let's just say you have um, you have one side that is placed correctly, not flipped correctly. Pretend that any of the blue edges are that color. So that we're gonna pretend this is uh, white and this is red. Just pretend, just pretend that that this piece is this piece, and you bring that down, and then just normally how you're doing it, and you'll have that piece free wherever. But uh, I don't have that at the moment. But that was just an example. So now we got white, red. Solve our last one. And uh, congratulations, you have solved the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. Now, this is where we're going to be using algorithms, so pay attention. You're going to either have, since we're going to, we're ignoring this, th the four corner pieces we're ignoring again. So you're going to either end up with this line of blue, or just this dot, or the L or oh, oh fuck the cross but since most people have the L or the dot we're going to start with that so if you have the dot no more hold it any direction and perform this algorithm if you have the L this is viewing you the L has to view the right the right of you and one part of the L this is the L Knowing that color, this is the L. One part is pointing towards you, and one part is pointing towards the right. So, if you have the dot, do it any direction, do this algorithm. I'll go slow so you guys can write it down. Or if you have the right L, um, just do this. So, pointing this way towards the right, and one pointing towards you. And then you're going to end up with the L for the dot users, and then do that again with the one part pointing towards the right and one part pointing towards you. Now you have the L. I mean, not the L. <laughs> the rod or the line. So point it horizontal. It doesn't matter which way you point it horizontal. This way or this way. And form the algorithm yet again. And then you're going to have your cross. Congratulations, but you're not complete just yet. So if you guys have white, I mean, if this was white and this was yellow. I mean, if this is white and this is yellow diagonally, and you don't have anything, you know, and this one's incorrect and this one's incorrect, perform the other rhythm again, that other one we just did, you'll get to the dot or the L, redo that until you get to a cross <coughs> that has one correct one like this and like this, just like the L. This is red, that's yellow, it's L again, this one's incorrect, this one's incorrect. So once you have that... This one's incorrect. I mean, this one's incorrect. This one's incorrect. These need to flip. This one's correct. This one's correct. It has to be correct next to each other. So hold the incorrect ones. One right side of you. One incorrect side to the right. And one incorrect side to you. Just like the L. 
and form this algorithm. All right, I'm gonna start over so you guys can write it down if you want. And then there you go. You reserve your um, second layer and now you got your uh, cross complete. Red, red, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, white, white. So now we got um, two parts of solving the corners. Place them correctly and flip them flipping them correctly. So you just need them placed correctly if you want. Since I have none correct placely, oh, wait, wait, okay. Most likely you guys will have one placed correctly but not flipped correctly. So from your view, hold the correct one that's placed correctly to the bottom right of you and form this algorithm. And then there you go. And keep doing that until you end up with these placed and flipped correctly or this one placed correct like it doesn't matter you need three that are placed correctly but not flip correctly and since I have two um you're basically gonna perform this algorithm so you got so the users can get to two so you're gonna perform this algorithm sorry I'm gonna start over there and now we're gonna perform this algorithm I, I did that incorrectly please do not do that that um um top inverted and voila you guys have solved your Rubik's cube so if you guys have now two placed correctly uh, this one these two flip correctly but not placed correctly these two are flipped and placed correctly do that add the rhythm yet again and you'll still either have the cube solved or not um, place correctly just do it again I mean flip correctly so just do that again and there you go so I'm gonna see if I can redo th that because that was a little short my cube I don't know why it was scrambled so I'm gonna get back to that real quick alright hold up guys uh, so okay so I'm back let me just uh, get where I was talking about uh, uh, fuck uh, let's do that again okay so this is what I meant this is placed correctly these are placed and flip place 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 not flip correctly so you're gonna hold it to the right side of you all the incorrect ones just like this Place correctly, not flip correctly, um, not flip correctly to the right side and perform this algorithm yet again. And then you might end up with these. So do it again as one is, um, as you have it like a diagonal line, one um, needs to be flipped, needs to be flipped correctly. Just perform that algorithm again. If you guys already got um, to where I was earlier, like this, then you didn't need to do that. So now you'll end up with this. Flip correctly and place correctly. Needs to be flipped correctly. Perform the algorithm one more time. And you need to do it again if it's not solved. And then there you go. You guys have solved the Rubik's Cube. Now I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you can leave a comment or a PM me if you want. If you want me to redo this tutorial because it was a little confusing due to the way my cube was scrambled. I scrambled it good, but apparently I couldn't go through all the possible ways um, you, uh, beginners go through. So I hope this tutorial helps you. This is S Link, and thanks for watching. And uh, if you want me to redo the tutorial, comment and tell me to redo it. I will redo it or PM me and give me some reasons, and I will try to go over everything so this is s link and thanks for watching like and subscribe guys